Hello, my teacher friends. So I discovered something um, by accident on how to grade multiple papers at once. So I wanted to share that with you. So I am looking at this um, that was completed yesterday by a bunch of the students. I'm gonna click on this assignment. And you can see not everybody completed it yesterday, but all of these blue asterisks mean that it requires manual grading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of these and say grade manually. And then I'm going to click up here, you see the student's name? I'm gonna click on this down arrow by her name and I'm gonna say this class. I'm gonna select this class from that drop down menu. And now what you're seeing is um, where it is automatically clicked on or defaulted to selecting problem number one. So what you're going to see is each student who has answered their answer to problem number one. So you can look at all of the answers and grade them all in one fell swoop. Everything that has a blue asterisk will show up to be graded. So I can click on this first one and it shows me the answer is Black Sea and a GNC Sea. Ionian Sea and the Gulf of Corinth. Those are the three things I'm looking for. And as long as I see Black Sea and Aegean, Ionian and the Gulf of Corinth, I can give that student credit for all three of these and I can do it really quickly. I can do all of these questions all at the same time. So those are this, that question's done. Now to go to the next question, you just click on the next question. I read the answer, Minoans, Mycenaeans, and Trojans, and then Crete, the Greek mainland, and the coast of Asia Minor, respectively, is where they're located. So this question here is only, um, let's see, one, two, three, MMT, and 2,000 and 1,100, and then I need C, G, and Asia Minor. So I've got um, only, I'm missing two. So I've got the answer to the first question, the three chief cultures, when did these cultures flourish, and where was each of these cultures located? So they get three points for the first question, one point for the second, and, and one point for the last. So they really only gave me the first and the second in full, so I'm just gonna give them four points. Um, so this one, that looks like all of that, although this should be the city of uh, the Asia Minor, that's where the city of Troy is, I believe. That is where the Trojans live, but it's the coast of Asia Minor is what we're looking for, so I'm going to give them four. Um, this answered everything. You know what, I'm gonna give this person five because this is apparently in the book and then this tells where they they got that all right. But you see how that works. You just grade them all the same questions so you don't have to go back and forth between questions in order to grade them. You can grade them all the same question all at the same time and then you go to the next question. So all of this question, it should have been Minoan and King Minos. Minoan's King Minos, Minoan Ki King Minos, Minoan's King. So it doesn't matter, you know, as long as they're giving you the bones that you're looking for. Uh, King Minos, and uh, I only got one of those. So you just go back and forth to you know, they all got this one right, looks like. So you just click, click, click. Oh, they didn't get that one. All right, you just, you just go to each question and you check for this same thing, Dorian's Hellenes. And this one got this wrong entirely. So you just go, and the other thing about this is this allows you to grade unbiasedly because you don't know which who is you know writing this it doesn't give you the student's name you're just grading the question 
So our question was, who wrote the Iliad and the Odyssey? So we're looking for Homer. And then a um, Heroic Deeds and Adventures of Odysseus. Okay. That's the main thing you're looking for. Homer, Heroic Deeds, and the Brave Greek Warrior. That, all right. So that, that is true. Homer. Okay. This, this looks good. This looks good. You know, if they're they're counting it, oh, she only got one of those questions. So you're you're grading without a bias on these. You really are. Um, so I really like this, and it's faster than going from student to student and looking at each question individually. Now you know you can look at all the questions all at the same time. I'm gonna finish grading this, but. Um, this really does help speed up the process for grading a bunch of papers where they have a long answer. So, and you can use this for other things as well that require other types of answers that you have to manually grade. So, um, keep this in mind whenever all you had to do was click on one of the students and click grade manually. And then again, drop, select from the drop down menu this class. And then you have access to this mass grading grid here. And so I'm just going to look for a few of these. Um, okay. And that's it. I just, you know, going from question to question and I'm doing a mass grading, so I know what I'm looking for for each question, so I don't have to um, waste time going from one to the other. It's all at once. So I hope this helps you with your grading, with the speed of your grading, and um, I'll see you next time.